Time for Expat Extra of this week. An American woman is turning her grief into opportunity for students in three countries. She lost her French husband in the 9-11 attacks on the United States. And in honor of his memory, she is now trying to bridge the gap between France and the United States and China by offering scholarships. Xin Zhihong takes a look. It's been more than 11 years since Deni Lohans lost her husband. But his name, Jeremy Lohans, lives on through this foundation. Deni says she can still remember the last time she saw him. Tuesday is September 11th. It was an extremely beautiful day, which is very strange. Before we parted, he told me, I love you. And, <laughs> and uh, so he left. By September the 13th, when his name did not appear on any of the survivor lists, he was classified as missing. As the weeks passed, Deni said her tuition told her that he was gone. I, I tried to find the answer. What happened to him? He loved me. He should stay with me. We plan to grow old, to have a lot of children. Now all is gone, and where he is, I don't find anything. For that reason, I cannot concentrate. I always uh, oblivion. And, uh, and eventually I said I have to go somewhere new. And uh, so I decided to go to Middle East. Dunning then spent almost five years touring around the Middle East, trying to find out what kind of people would commit such an act of terrorism. She says the journey was liberating. I don't like them to begin with. And uh, so I went to Middle East. And uh, w what I get from this uh, trip to Middle East, I would say people are people. Uh, when you meet ordinary people in Egypt, in Jordan, in, in, in Syria, ordinary people are very warm. Middle Eastern people are very warm people. They're very hospitable. There, she came to learn the value of mutual understanding. That's why in 2005, she set up the foundation to help students from France, China, and the United States to study in each other's countries. And two French students who were just awarded a scholarship from her foundation last week say, study in China really changed their views towards the country. I'm convinced that like being abroad helps you to fight against stereotypes and to just be more open-minded. I think it's mostly when I first came to, to, to Beijing um, that I r really find, found out that yeah, French, French people don't really know much about China and sometimes we say things that we think are true but that are actually not. So far, 28 students from the three countries have been awarded scholarships and the French consulate in Shanghai is getting involved in the program. The biggest, largest French community in, in Asia right now in Shanghai. And according to our estimate, there are more than maybe 2,000, 2, 3,000 French uh, students in, in Shanghai. I mean, we, we live now in a globalized world and it's very important for them to, to know uh, from outside, uh, outside cultures and to, to learn and to improve. Dunning said another reason she's offering the scholarships is because she met her husband in college and fell in love. Whenever she gets the chance, she likes to tour around different campuses. For her, they're a place of understanding, relationships and love.